What's good guys, as always, it's Domitus from Boal Squad and today we're doing a performance review on the latest and most different shoe from the Cosmic Unity series, Nike Cosmic Unity 3. Is the Cosmic Unity line still worth a premium price tag? We'll find out soon. Let's get it! The Cosmic Unity 3 features a quite unorthodox upper which utilizes the Flynet and Fly Mesh combination arranged in different patterns and directions. Due to a heavy duty structure, the upper is highly supportive and offers an elite containment. Although the upper is thicker than most of the current models, it uses a higher amount of natural fibers that contain at least 20% recycled materials. This provides the upper with proper flexibility and air circulation to keep optimal inside temperature. Along with aesthetic changes, it's the department where the Cosmic Unity 3 has received the most viral technical updates. Being one of the main highlights of the past Cosmic Unity generations, a full length zoom strobe was replaced by a drop in midsole in the third model. It's made out of basic file and foam with no additional technologies inside, which has radically changed the properties of the cushioning system compared to its predecessors. Switching from a bouncy and well cushioned ride, the underfoot of the Cosmic Unity 3 combines stability and responsiveness. A low profile forefoot area offers great core feel and precise footwork. Meanwhile, a thicker heel section provides a sufficient amount of impact protection after a few runs. Much like the second iteration, the Cosmic Unity 3 has reliable traction and this time you can experience it on outdoor courts. A widely spaced radial traction pattern has a fairly wide thread with micro bumps on the surface. While doing hard stops or quickly changing directions, this layout helps to maximize ground coverage for an efficient bite on all types of surfaces. However, this outsole does require some braking time so you can expect some minor traction inconsistencies on the first few runs. As mentioned before, a beefy pattern and harder rubber compound make the Cosmic Unity 3 one of the rare premium options that are suitable for outdoor courts. While the Cosmic Unity 3 loses some comfort points by ditching the air zoom strobe, the upper makes up for it by giving us an extremely plush and comfortable step-in experience. A sturdy yet flexible flyknit booty structure makes a perfect match with an elastic tongue and heavy inner padding that allows the upper to nicely form fit your foot straight out of the box. The Cosmic Unity 3 has a fairly wide forefoot section, so it makes a perfect option for wide footers. That being said, we recommend going true to size for most or half a size up if you are a 4E. Another thing to notice is that the forefoot is quite low in height, which might be a problem for those with a higher foot arch. It's the category where the Nike Cosmic Unity 3 shines the brightest as it is one of the most supportive shoes in the current market. From top to bottom, the shoe is built like a tank which allows you to play your game with confidence whether you are a shifty guard or a post up powerhouse. The robust upper is paired with external and internal foam walls and a massive internal heel counter to create an elite lateral containment. Meanwhile, a fairly wide outsole with an integrated TPU shank significantly improves torsional rigidity compared to the twos. Reliable traction, trustworthy support, and adaptive fit. These are the three main aspects that create a good basketball shoe, and these are the spots where the Nike Cosmic Unity 3 offers the most. Due to a massive changes in the cushion department, the Nike Cosmic Unity 3 is a good option for stretch bigs who can create their own shots in the perimeter or drive to the basket. Also, it's one of the most reliable outdoor hoop shoes out right now. Now let's take a look at our scores for each category and overall numbers. As always, you can find these and many other newest basketball shoes and other gear at baller.lt online store. And if you have any questions, feel free to sound off in the comments, as well as don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. This was Don't Just from Ball Squad, I'll catch you in the next one.